And with the Melbourne Cup just a week away, the Cup Carnival has officially been launched at Flemington. And the biggest winner might just be Victoria's economy, with the four days of racing generating millions of dollars. Let the carnival begin. You don't need to tell Gay Waterhouse to get excited. The smile says it all. The champion trainer has won one Melbourne Cup. This year is the event's 156th. Well, there's no sporting event that has the coverage except maybe the Olympics. So, you know, why wouldn't you? The prize money's phenomenal. It's $6.25 million to be exact. The entertainment at Flemington claims to be just as rich. <music> Melbourne restaurants like 400 Grady and 8-Bit have outlets at the park, a popular precinct just outside the grandstand. <laughs> These nonnas have sung in a choir for 20 years. Today, they helped show off the Lavazzo coffee bus. You have a wonderful set of lungs on you. <laughs> I'm a mother of six children, and grandmother of six children, and I'm, a, I'm a just a love Australia. There are four big days of racing, Derby Day, then the Melbourne Cup, Oaks Day and Stakes Day. It doesn't just proverbially stop the nation, it also helps fund it big time. Last year's Melbourne Cup Carnival pumped more than $427 million into the Victorian economy. The fashion rules for Derby Day this weekend are strict. Amy Victoria Derby Day is known as the monochrome day, so black and white, maybe some greys as well, but try and stick to it. And there's no shame in getting help from a pro. You look incredible. Who dressed you today, buddy? Um, Mum. Blake Johnson, 7 News.